All right, Matt, are you ready to see your telepathic future pup? Take that blindfold off. Okay. Oh my <laughs> God, that is so awesome. Welcome to Cos Pets, the show where we make the perfect costume for your pet. I'm Whitney Moore, and I'm here with Matt and his Frenchie, Pierre. Thanks for having us. So Matt, how did you meet Pierre? I met Pierre after a breakup. I had a couple months, you know, not feeling great. Mm -hmm. uh, I got Pierre. I'm in a relationship now, so. You know. I know people yeah. were gonna ask, so yeah, yeah. like, how do I meet that yeah. dog? And I actually met my current girlfriend through her dog. This is the it best meet out. cute ever. Yeah. I feel like there's gotta be a rom-com in there somewhere. Yes. Love on a leash. Positively in love. It's a bad title. We'll workshop Let's, it. We'll go with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you describe in a couple words what Pierre's mannerism is? Off the bat, I'm reading sort of a very chill vibe. Yeah, Pierre is like a serial chiller. <laughs> very lazy, but like very affectionate. If you got down, he would just like lick your earlobes to death. <gasps> well, he's French. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's a lover. Yes. And Pierre is also one of the Instagram puppies. What's mm -hmm. Pierre's Instagram? He is Pierre, don't care. I for like obvious it. reasons. He's nonchalant. He's wee wee. I will kiss you. Yes. I, I, don't, I don't care. Exactly. I'm sorry, French people. I'm not going <laughs> to do that again. You were mentioning that Pierre has a job. Yes. He <laughs> is a certified therapy dog. Wow. Yeah, so we volunteer at Mattel Children's Hospital at UCLA and also at LAX with their PUPS program. That's Pets and Stressing Passengers. So, I love yeah. that. I feel like my heart has already like slowed down a couple beats just by being in his presence. Can I just take a moment? And yeah, just, of like, course. Do your thing. That's here. what he's here for. Thank you. Yeah, it's impossible not to have that reaction. Thank you for him. your service. Yeah. This is for me. You can turn the cameras off. <laughs> well, now that we have had a chance to meet Pierre and see what he's all about, I would like to meet our designer and see what she's going to make for him. I can't wait. Matt, Pierre, I'd like you to meet our designer, Hi, Catherine. Nice hey. to, to meet you. Do you ever play in cosplay, or is that kind of just for behind glass? I kind of behind glass. I've done okay. it a couple times at conventions. Does he ever get to go into the, or does he have his own collection? Pierre has a whole wardrobe kind of collection. Oh, okay. What's your some of your favorite things to dress Pierre up as? So I'm a big Back to the Future fan. So I <laughs> built him a dog Lorian. Oh my gosh. The lights came, I had a speaker playing Huey Lewis. Bark to the Future? Bark to the Future, yes. Know. He was Marty Mutt Fly. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> now, I love that he's a therapy dog. Do you think that if he was a superhero, he kind of like knows what people are thinking, what's going on? Uh, yeah, I like that. I think that's kind of his vibe. Like I would say like telepathic. He always kind of seems to know like the mood of the people he's around. If someone's not feeling well, if we're volunteering, he can kind of just take them out of that situation. Oh, so he's kind of the link between canine and humankind. Yeah, I think oh. so. Yeah. So I love the future aspect that you're really loving back to the future and all that. What are some of your favorite costumes in movies? Oh gosh, I mean anything from the Fifth Element, Back to the Future, obviously. Yeah. I like part two just because all the futuristic stuff, mm -hmm. but Griff has that awesome baseball bat with the cool jacket. The nice the helmet. helmet, yeah. Yeah, super <laughs> awesome. So is there anything specific that you really want to get out of this costume for Pierre? Functional, I guess. So, I mean, he is a working dog. Of course, pockets or things that maybe move or light up. Awesome, still bringing in that futuristic vibe. I think those work hand in hand. Paw on paw, maybe. Yes, mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> well, Catherine, do you feel like we have enough to go on? I think so. We're getting a little superhero inspired by some futuristic elements. Elements. Why don't you and Pierre take a walk and we'll get started. So Pierre's costume is going to be really cool. He's going to have a jacket and we're going to be making some armor for that. So it's going to be in different sections so he's still able to move around. Mm -hmm. He's going to have a helmet that's going to have a gem on it where his telepathic powers come from. And then because Pierre kind of chills and is a little slow, we're going to give him a hoverboard to get around since he is from the future. We're going to be using some foam, which is actually a very common cosplay technique. And I've just kind of drawn out the template for our helmet for Pierre. And I'm just going to go and cut that out. So I'm just using a razor blade. So I'm just kind of going straight and cutting. And then after, we're actually going to use a heat gun when we glue these together to kind of mold the shape. I like the tools that you're using for this sci-fi costume. Sounds very sci-fi. Yeah, heat I mean. Heat gun, foam. <laughs> so we've got our two sides, and now I'm just gonna do the back. Is this right? Um, no, but that's a nice art project. Okay, I'll take it. All right, so now once so I just pop this out. So I'm actually gonna take contact cement. It's got a little bit of a smell to it. So. Yep, sniff it up. I don't know why I didn't yep. believe you. I mean, I wasn't lying. That's a, that was a chemical smell. Yeah, so I'm putting that into all the seams. So I'm curving it. And then as I curve it, I'm gonna just heat gun it. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of push. We're gonna let that set up. 
And it just takes a little bit of patience. Maybe watch a TV show as you're doing it. Watch some like, watch, hospets watch hospets. Hospets. Yeah. Wire. After this is all dry and you have the whole helmet glued together, you're going to want to put it in a plastic coating. So they make this spray that's just a plastic coating. Because otherwise, if you were to paint the foam right away, you're going to put a lot of paint on it and the foam is just going to suck up the paint. So once you have your whole helmet set up and glued together and painted it, you're going to get something like this. Oh, it looks so, so good. So here is Pierre's helmet. So we've painted it. We're doing a kind of very blue, neon, silver, mm -hmm. black color palette for him. And we've got the gem in the center where his telepathic powers are going to come from. And then we've got those nice little holes for those oh, ears. Oh, I can't wait. Now that we have his helmet, let's make some armor so we can protect the rest of his body. Okay. For his costume, I've actually taken some shiny fabric to give it that futuristic oh, look. Yeah. So we're going to take these pieces and these are going to be glued onto the pieces of the jacket. I want to keep the edges black a little bit and then build up some blue and then have it the lightest in the center with some silver. So now that I've got the blue, I still want the black to be a little bit more of the edges and I like to just kind of get in there and go for it. So I'm going to finger paint. Get in there, go for so it. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of the black and I'm going to dab it on the edges and that's going to give it more of a very organic feel. I want to do the same thing for the center. So I'm just going to yes. take some of the silver and I'm going to lightly go on the center and just build up that silver. So once you have that all painted up and ready to go, you're going to put these onto your jacket and we're going to get something a little bit like this. Oh, snap. So Dude. this is the jacket for Pierre. So I kind of have it off in sections so it's still movable for him. And then of course he's got to keep his back covered too. It's got that futuristic look that Matt was really looking for and it's got some functional armor because you know Pierre's on the go and he's got to be ready for anything. All right, now that we have our jacket done, he already knows what we're thinking about it, but let's go see what he thinks about it. Yes. All right, Matt, are you ready to see your telepathic future pup? Let's do it. All right, take that blindfold off. Okay. Oh my god, that is so awesome. Oh my god, look at this, this is crazy. He's got his little hoverboard. Yeah, he's all ready. Oh my god, and it lights up? Yeah, he's a little slow, so we want him to be a faster moving. That's hilarious. So for Pierre's futuristic telepathic costume, he's got a base jacket, and we're using some different pieces of armor right here so he could be ready for any kind of attack. His helmet is where he's getting his telepathic powers from, so this is just made from EVA foam, and then kind of glued together with his gem where all the powers come from. Okay. And then, because we know he's chill and a little bit more laid back, yeah. we've got a hoverboard, so he's a quicker on the go futuristic pet. Awesome. Oh, I'm getting a message from Pierre. He says he loves the costume, loves cos pets, and there should be four more seasons. Great. We'll see you guys next time.